it's all really well made and the animation is all like pretty fucking good looking for an indie game like you know it's really good looking for i mean one is this is yeah, this a game dude. that just happens to have anthropomorphic characters or is this a furry yes. game it's both really skyblazer what's the fucking difference I yeah, I don't know. The, the, the difference is between like they all Maniac become furry and... games. They all become. No, games. this one's pretty no, much no, like. No, never mind. I just saw one of the characters. <laughs> this is uh, well, all the little are the little there. fairy that follows the main character around is like some deviant art original character or something like. God damn. Is are you just like living in a wind tunnel or what's going on? That's me. Maybe his mic's inside of the store. Welcome to reality. Go, go, go! Dick's in the dirt, I'm gonna light him up! What's reality? Anime. Excuse me, anime. God, this game looks so fucking cool, but it has to have furries in it. Damn. What's your favorite anime? First of all, I have to pronounce it correctly. Dragon Ball Z. It's pronounced anime. The maiden is pronounced anime. I could overlook a lot of things in this game if that little fox fairy thing wasn't in it. Yeah, like it's pretty. It's that's pretty much the only thing really furry about it is that little fox thing. Like the main character has just got that mask on the whole time. Like he's he's cool again. Yeah. Oh, furry apologist to persecute, persecute. Must persecute furries. Persecute. Persecute. Yep, yep. I would Fur. give this game uh, four yif stars out we of could, ten. We could play uh, the Guns of Icarus. Uh, yeah. I don't think the netcode even work. Where you got Guns of Icarus online? Yeah, Guns of Icarus Online is actually surprisingly not shit. That's Apparently they changed the gun balance. Guns of Icarus, which was a co-op game with no working netcode. Or we could play, uh, uh Air Land Battle. Land Battle. Yep. You mean the big? You mean the big? And you just get the Marchie anyway. I don't know if, if Icarus worked over the Marchie. Well, you'd hope so if I had land code. Are you guys talking about the old Unreal Tournament mod? Or is it a Quake mod? No, I'm talking about the new AAA game. Yeah, what? That, it's not really as, like, fun in the sense of, like, crazy shit happening, like with the original where you could, like, you know, grab onto enemy ships and climb on them. Still pretty cool, though, I guess. the Planetside Friday Night Ops stream chat why they were showing some stupid test server shit instead of people actually playing their game and they uh, they banned me from the chat. Whoa, you fucking rebel you. Mm. They yeah, probably, they probably just ordered it really quickly. Really. Zalbar is the worst Sky Gods map so far. Guys, uh, we just spotted some enemy. I mean, I understand why no one plays it. Oh, I liked all the maps in uh, that game. I bet you would like DLC maps, you Kroner Commando. Uh. Curiosities, Peter Molyneux's curiosity is gonna end in like a few hours, holy fuck. Yes, this is the event of the century. Well, I don't- what's- what's in the fucking box? Like, what this is, is like- I bet there's a smaller cube inside! Yeah, well that- that's- that's sort of been the theme for the past like six months, a smaller cube and a smaller cube. Who's Peter Molyneux? 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 Who's Peter Molyne
here or mulling you? What is a cube? Wow. What box are you guys on? Peter Molyneux is the guy that made Black and White and ah, yes. the Fable yes, series. You're making fun of me now, there, Skyblazer, for not knowing video game shit. No, I am. What? <clears throat> oh, I thought that was Skyblazer. Wow. Fun. He's like fucking six years younger than me. How can you possibly confuse that? <laughs> Usually. Well. I'm gonna go get my uh, bougie Apple product and download the Curious City on it. I'm gonna get my non bougie Apple product. It's literally just an Apple. I'm gonna go eat it. I took out like a hundred or so little pixels on one of the cubes. I'm a part of something, man. You you contributed to the And Peter Molyneux should have made it so that each layer of the cube was like ad space. Fuck, he would have made so much money. One uh, million dollar web page where there's like a million pixels, each pixel costs a dollar. Oh god, there's C130. There's like AC 130s in Battlefield now, right? Yeah, dude, you didn't know about that? Dude, they, they're fun actually. They were in Desert Combat first, and they were the best in Desert Combat. What? Are they like an invisible sky god, or are they actually like a pre physical presence? Among them? They're they're not a sky god because they're on rails. That's how they balance oh. them. They're on rails and a giant target. If they weren't on rails, people would probably take them up to the ceiling and just rain down terror across the whole map, and it would be invincible. And that would be very annoying. You know, I kind of wish I didn't mess out on Battlefield 3. Oh well. No, don't worry. I'm sure, Battlefield 4 will be more the same. From Battlefield 4, which is the same thing. Yeah. So, no worries. Well, Battlefield 4 is the same thing except with China. So, it sounds like a good thing to me. You'll start up the game, it'll be like, Ni hao, would you like to spend some money on a DLC? Yeah, pretty much. The first expansion pack to China Rising. China will grow larger. But. You know, we're still missing the MEC, so I'm presuming that as a, as all these Battlefield games are prequels to Battlefield 2, that eventually that'll they'll explain the rise of the MEC. Yes, the Battlefield canon continues. Yeah.